Fox News alert. More on our breaking news out of the Pentagon as it confirms that Iran fired on an unarmed U.S. drone back on November 1st. The unmanned predator drone was apparently conducting routine surveillance some 16 miles off the coast. And the attack marks the first time ever that a U.S. drone has been fired upon by Iranian fighter jets. We've asked John Bolton, our former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, to come back, and he did. Thank you, sir. And back with us as well as our national security correspondent, Jennifer Griffin, who's live at the Pentagon. Ambassador, I'm going to get you to react in a minute, but Jennifer, I just want to clear a couple things up with you because you said uh, this is the first time it's happened. The drone was doing routine maritime surveillance. It wasn't hit. Does the Pentagon say this was an act of war? Well, the Pentagon wouldn't go there. George Little was asked that question during the briefing, and he said he wouldn't get into, quote, legal characterizations. But it is, as you mentioned, the first time an American drone has ever been uh, fired on by uh, Iranian aircraft, in, uh, fighter jets, and it was in international waters. It was 16 miles off the coast of Iran. It also is important to point out, Megan, that this was a classified mission that suggests that um, while, it may, while the Pentagon may say it was routine surveillance of the maritime straits, it was a classified mission. Ambassador, your reaction? Well, you know, the Iranians have gotten at least one other American drone. They claim they shot it down. We claim that it uh, landed by malfunction. But in any event, they're obviously uh, intending to show that, uh, that they're prepared to, uh, to use force uh, to brush us back. And I, I think, uh, although the timing of this was before the election, uh, I, I think there is something uh, to the proposition that the Iranians are trying to uh, show to the United States that uh, any use of military force against their nuclear program would, uh, would, would not go uh, unattended. Jennifer, is there any understanding about whether the Iranians intended to bring this thing down or were, you know, shooting but missing intentionally just to sort of, you know, put a, put a thumb in our face? Well, it's a good question, and U.S. military intelligence isn't sure if the Iranian fighter jets, the Su-25 um, frog, uh, Frogfoot aircraft, whether they missed because they were a bad shot or whether they were warning shots. I think they were taking the shooting pretty seriously, um, and, uh, and they missed. Uh, and also, to add to what Ambassador Bolton said, that Sentinel drone that went down inside Iran was flying um, on a classified mission, and it had crossed in. This is the one months ago that uh, that w I was brought down for somehow inside Iran. That was a very um, a, a big loss for the Pentagon. It was a, uh, a stealth drone and it was on a classified mission inside Iran, uh, taking a look at some of Iran's nuclear sites. Do you do you believe uh, that this was not disclosed, Ambassador, because it was a classified mission? In other words, is there any reason to doubt that that was the reason, given that it, this happened a couple of days before a presidential election. Yeah, well, not not clear why it's come out now, but but I do think that uh, that we've got, I hope anyway, lots of drones inside and outside Iran, uh, looking at their nuclear operations, their ballistic missile programs, the disposition of their forces. Uh, nobody should be surprised that we've got the. Uh, uh, drones and, and other equipment up there. Uh, I would think that the Iranians did want to shoot this down and, and if they could uh, capture yeah. it and use it for their own purposes. The other thing Jennifer mentioned was that we protested the incident. Um, I want to, we're, we're up against another hard break. I'm going to hold you guys over because to whom and is that, is there more we could or should be doing? That's what we'll talk about next. Fox News alert as we get more on this information that an unmanned U.S. Predator drone was shot at by Iranians, was not hit, uh, but the incident happened on November 1st, and we are just now learning of it. Uh, I want to start with you again, Jennifer. We protested the incident. What does that mean? Well, that means that the State Department, through the Swiss delegation that represents the U.S. in Tehran, because as you know, the U.S. doesn't have an embassy in Iran, um, hasn't had one since 1979, and the Swiss represent the U.S. there. So the State Department protested, saying that this drone was flying in international waters when the two uh, Su-25 fighter jets fired at it. Is that Megan. what we are supposed to do, Ambassador? Right. So the Swiss are our protecting power in uh, Tehran. I'm, I'm sure it was a very stiff note by the State Department. Uh, you know, look, this is, uh, if, if you don't like this kind of behavior from Iran now, assuming our 
drone was in international airspace. Just imagine what it's going to be like when Iran gets nuclear weapons. What do you make of it, Ambassador? Are they just trying to be provocative with this? Well, I think they're trying to show that they're ready. They don't. They obviously don't like this surveillance. I think they uh, are worried more about Israel taking military action, preemptive military action against their uh, nuclear program, and they'd love to bring down uh, another American drone. It would be a propaganda coup for them if they could. It also has the uh, side benefit of uh, increasing tensions in the Persian Gulf. I bet the oil, tra oil traders are now outbidding up the price of petroleum on the international market. That's another plus for Iran as well. Jennifer, the distinction here, as I understand it, between that other drone and this one is this one was, it was definitely in international airspace versus in Iranian airspace? That's certainly what the Pentagon says. The previous one, the RQ-170 Sentinel that went down in December of 2011, that was actually, that went down over Iranian airspace. And it was, we, uh, we eventually learned from U.S. officials, it was monitoring Iran's nuclear sites. Mm -hmm. So this is a more significant uh, attempt because you're, you're allowed to be, I guess, in the international airspace, right? All right. All That's right. True. Thank you both. <laughs> Jennifer, Ambassador, all the best. We appreciate you being here uh, on this breaking news. And we will be right back. Don't go away.